Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is The Novelty Corner and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be recommending some single parent romance books that I have really enjoyed. I'm going to have three single dads and three single mums. A lot of these books are books that I have read sort of in the last 12 months. So you may have heard me talk about them before, but lots of people come to specific recommendation videos. So that's why I'm including them. So we're going to start off with single dads, or in this case, a single uncle who has got custody of his niece. And that is Inner Jam by Kate Canterbury. I have talked a lot about this book this year because I absolutely loved it. It is about Shay, who's at a bit of a loss in her life. She has separated from her fiance and she has lost a really important family member to her, but she has also inherited a tulip farm. In order for her to keep the inheritance past one year, she has to be married. Shay ends up going back to this town. She starts living in the house. She doesn't really have any intention of staying there past a year, but she discovers that her next door neighbor, is a guy that she knew when she attended high school in this town for a year. And Noah is very attractive, grumpy and gruff and is currently the guardian of his niece. And she's the most entertaining five slash six year old that I have read about because she swears like a sailor, thinks she's a pirate and just generally keeps Noah on his toes. Shay is also a kindergarten teacher. And there are so many things in this book that I love, but particularly in the case of the single dad storyline. Noah has had to take custody of his niece because his sister has ended up in prison. So Jenny is going through a lot and he is determined to be there for her and to try and learn as much as he can to help her. And to the point where she's having trouble at school and he is fighting tooth and nail for her. And that's where Shay comes in and offers to help and to help Jenny out and to spend time with her so that she can catch up so she doesn't have to repeat a grade. His devotion to Jenny and the way that Shay becomes part of their family is just beautiful. Another one I read fairly recently is Vital Blindside by Hannah Cowan. This is about a single dad who became a single dad by accident. He didn't realize that the mother of his child was even pregnant until she dropped off his two-year-old son at his door and left him there because she was going through some mental health issues. And we do see the mum in the story and we know that she's doing better but she's not ready, like she's not willing to take custody. In this story, uh, we've jumped forward about 10 years from when Adam first finds out that he has a son and his son is 12 years old. Adam runs a hockey training facility and he's trying to hire Scarlett to be one of the coaches for his facility because she's a former women's hockey player who has been injured and is no longer able to play professionally. She's dealing a lot with the trauma of that because her entire career and dreams have gone up in smoke, but she somehow finds herself convinced to work for Adam. There is an age gap between the two of them. Their relationship is just fantastic and their dynamic is fantastic. And I loved the way that she interacted with Adam's son. I should say I do have an art print. So this is them. Anyway, it's really fun, really enjoyable. I love this because we have a female hockey player. This is part of a trilogy and this was my absolute favorite in the trilogy. And then for something a little bit different, so we've gone contemporary, we've gone sports, let's go historical romance to It Takes Two by Cat Sebastian. This one is a queer MM historical romance. It is basically a Sound of Music retelling. So you have a very aloof, grumpy captain who has three children and he is determined to spend most of his life at sea because he just, he, he doesn't want to deal with the reality of his life. And so he's constantly leaving his children behind and they are running wild. Philip, who is their father, is obviously dealing with a lot of grief. The local vicar, Ben, ends up coming up to the house and ends up taking care of these kids until Philip returns. And then the two start up this relationship unexpectedly to Philip, who, like, as I said, is dealing with a lot. But Ben is just a very sunshiny character. He's just absolutely lovable. And he really falls for the kids and wants them to be safe and happy. And so he also falls for their dad. And it was great. Cat Sebastian is a very consistent historical romance author for me. Because anyone who knows me knows that historical romance and I do not always get along. But I really loved this story. Okay, and then three single mum recommendation. So very recently I read Mother's Day In by Lee Jacko, which is the sixth book in their series of holiday themed novellas. And in this one you have a single mum who ends up falling for a younger guy who was the lifeguard at the community pool where she takes her daughter. He actually taught her daughter how to swim. And despite the fact that he is younger, he is 100% all in. He is very confident in their relationship. She feels very awkward about the age gap, but he is not at all concerned by it and he works very hard to make her feel comfortable. They end up kicking off their relationship on Mother's Day when she is staying at his family's inn for a 24 hour sort of retreat and treat for herself. It is super steamy and it's great. 
and he has a really great connection with her daughter. She like, she is very reluctant to let people get close to her daughter, particularly romantic partners, but he has known her daughter her daughter's entire life and they get on great. Also this one does have breeding kink in it but without the intent to get pregnant so thank you. There is also Glove Save by Tegan Hunter. This is a hockey romance and this is part of the Carolina Comets series. It is very funny and fun. You have Greer who is a very grumpy goalie. He's also a bit clueless and he needs a date to his mother's latest wedding. Both his parents have a very complicated relationship with having relationships. And so Greer doesn't really have any good modeling. He decides that he's going to ask out a single mum that he knows through who attends his games and is friends with the other wives and girlfriends of the team. But Stevie is very unimpressed with Greer. And the only reason she get he gets Stevie to agree is because he offers to teach Stevie's daughter how to play hockey. It's so funny because they have the best back and forth banter because initially they really don't like each other, but they end up growing to communicate better and they get to understand each other and it's fantastic. There's a good grand gesture scene and also I loved his relationship with the daughter because she's, I forget if she's like, she's somewhere between 10 and 12 and all of the scenes where he's teaching her hockey are just gold. Absolutely loved it. If you're looking for very entertaining hockey romance reads, Tegan Hunter is the place to go because they're just very low angst and very entertaining. And then my last recommendation for a single mum romance is A Taste of Her Own Medicine is A Taste of Her Own Medicine by Tasha L. Harrison. In this we have Sonia whose kids are a little bit older and she has just gotten divorced and she's determined to get back into the workforce after her divorce and she ends up taking an entrepreneurial course and, and she ends up falling for the instructor of, the, of that course. Atlas is an absolute cinnamon roll who just fits into her life. Their relationship is great. It's a very small town romance. There are hints of magic woven through the story. It is a really beautiful book and I really need to continue the series because I really love this first one and I think the series follows Sonia's sisters. So there is a really great family thread through the books. So I need to get to those soon. So those are some recommendations. I'll leave links to where you can find out more information about all of them down below. In the comments I would love to know what are your favorite single parent romance books. If you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment feel free to leave a flower emoji down below. Otherwise I hope that wherever you are in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.